Yes, that is Miami, a Miami you've never seen before. Welcome, I'm Carolina Diago, and I'm about to host your ride into the exploding renaissance of Miami's art and culture scene, Midtown Miami, Wynwood, and the neighboring design district. I'm going to show you the next phase of Miami's evolution, a place so vibrant with culture, art, fashion, and gastronomy that it's become a virtual magnet for creative types, artists, fashionistas, and celebrities. Join me on this ride as we show you how this neighborhood, Midtown Miami, can be a part of your life. Midtown Miami is the epicenter of not just what's now, but of what's next. The neighborhood is situated between the art warehouses of Wynwood and the ultra-luxury shops of the Design District on 40th Street, all within four blocks of each other. The neighborhood feel and the exploding art and culture scene is what has caused many in some circles to call it the Soho of the South, due to its similarities with Manhattan's Soho District. It has the same feel, but so far, not the same real estate prices, at least not yet. The South Florida real estate market is booming right now. And one of the main reasons why is Midtown. Midtown is one of those neighborhoods that people really didn't have their eye on. And now all eyes are on Midtown. And why is that? Because major stores that were originally, for instance, in Ball Harbor, have now locked in on this neighborhood. So who do you have? You have Louis Vuitton, Christian Vuitton, you have Cartier, Prada, Fendi Casa, all these major brands have the vision and see what's behind all this. And they're like, we want to be a part of it. So what's happening? That the people see that as well and they want to be a part of it too. So they're buying on the residential side, which is Midtown, and taking advantage that all these major investors are investing into this neighborhood. So what is it that's making Midtown Miami attractive to people all over the world? Is it the food? Is it the fashion? Is it the art? So many questions, just so little time. So we better get moving and figure this out. What you see behind me is for Midtown. Let's go, follow me. For Midtown is another project by the Gold Crown Financial Group, the people that brought you the successful two Midtown project. Let in sales exclusively by Fortune International, for Midtown has a soaring 32 stories with a diverse architectural palette of 42 different floor plan options. Residents will have access to state-of-the-art amenities like a seventh floor pool with amazing views, sun decks, an unbelievable gym, sauna, steam room, socializing hubs, and much, much more. Makes you not want to leave, but in case you ever do, 4 Midtown is just two blocks from the urban chic 40th Street in the Design District, just a stone throws from the ever-growing Wynwood Art District, and in the crosshairs of the highway that can take you over the bridge to South Beach, the American Airlines Arena, the Port of Miami, and the airport. The Design District was an almost abandoned part of Miami just over a decade ago. This is until visionaries saw its potential like Craig Robbins of DACRA, the real estate company that redeveloped the design district. Once a home to low-rise warehouses and galleries and not much else, Robbins brought a slew of designers and world-class retail brands to the area, giving it prestige, credibility, and the beginning of a snowball effect that still continues. I realized that Miami needed a laboratory of creativity. The Miami Design District was the perfect place. So we have seen some world-class retail areas for shopping. We've seen where to get a world-class meal. And of course, we've shown the best urban living space you can find in Fort Midtown. And they are all within walking distance from each other. Midblock defines your lifestyle. It delivers an unmatched ambiance with modern interiors that capture the essence of sophisticated living. The condominium units with their eye-catching details are designed for those trendsetters seeking a refined setting in a neighborhood reminiscent of New York Soho. Unlike any other destinations in Miami, the residences are as unique as their location. Midblock presents a plethora of options for every resident. It is your place to discover. Get lost in a book while reading in the newly renovated lobby. What better way to make Midblock the finest residence than to offer only the most stunning new amenities? Once you are here, you won't want to leave. 
So what else is there to do? Well, I'm glad you asked because your next new favorite place in the world is going to be Wynwood, a mecca of another cultural explosion taking place right here, the art scene. Home to over 70 galleries and art studios, together with the graffiti art and professionally curated street art, make Wynwood one of the biggest art districts in the world. In this Wynwood area has been an incredible you know, area and uh, also you know, so neighbor here to the design district and that isn't doing extremely well. So this is the, the new part of Miami that you know, in another five years, 10 years, 20 years is gonna be a whole new thing. The proximity to the airport, to Miami Beach, to downtown has made Wynwood an extremely special place. Everybody likes new things, so we're getting new restaurants, new galleries, new hotels, uh, new stores, and uh, that's what is making it really, really special. More and more tourists are interested in knowing the world Wynwood. Before you used to say Wynwood, nobody knew where it was. Now it's the center of Miami. This art scene has been further cemented by hosting, along with Midtown Miami, some of the best and certainly hippest events during Art Basel in December. Wynwood, and actually this whole urban area, gets transformed with art installations, parties, gallery openings, and so much more during Basel Week. Midtown has become the most exciting place in Miami. We are a few minutes from South Beach, which is a big attraction. A couple seconds to get off the expressway, you're in Midtown. So if you're going to the airport in Fort Lauderdale, or you're going to the downtown Miami, or you're going to the port, you're there. The other thing is that what makes it really good is it's affordable. Whereas if you go to South Beach, you're paying twice the price that you're paying for a condominium in Midtown. That's a big attraction, because not only is the price right now, but as we go, through the years, it's going to become more and more and more valuable. For Midtown is not just a part of Midtown's present, it's a huge part of its future. Just like the food, art, and fashion scene, Midtown Miami and the neighboring Wynwood and Design Districts have grown, matured, and transformed into one of the world's most sophisticated places to work and play. In art they say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but here the beholders all seem to agree. The future is not just bright and beautiful, it's here and now.